Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. Now, we have a story here that, if it wasn't for the immense cost, would actually be laughably bad. But they have spent hundreds, literally hundreds of millions of pounds on duelling the A9. But so far, an immense amount of that has gone purely into just the design, not the actual construction. How? How has it taken this long to do? How has it cost two hundred million pounds on just the design? Somebody is making a lot of money. Somebody is screwing a lot of money out of the public purse. There is no way the design stage alone costs two hundred million pounds. That is a lot of pencils. Let's have a look at this because this I think has now got to the point where it needs to be investigated by the police. There has got to be illegality going on here. There's got to be fraud. As someone who's worked in the construction industry for 35 years as an accountant, there is no way that this has come to £200 million just for the design. Let's have a look. So the design bill for the A9 duelling is now double what has actually been spent on construction. At a staggering two hundred and forty six point seven million pounds more than half of the money spent on the project so far has been handed over to cover preparation costs not the construction of the road now nothing to do with the construction what kind of it boggles the mind where the money is going you need to look at every single penny see what companies it's gone to Look up the list of directors and other people employed in those companies. Some of this is shady. Some of this has got to be going back to someone high up in either officialdom or in politics. Because there is no way it costs that amount of money to build a road. Build it? Yes, sorry, to build it. To plan for it? No. Transport bosses have paid design consultants and planners almost double what has been spent on the actual construction to duel the A9. We can reveal a staggering £246.7 million, more than half the total money spent on the project so far, has been handed over to cover preparation costs, including designers. This figure dwarfs the £133 million spent on actual construction, £62 million spent on ground investigation and surveys, and nine million on land purchases. Let me tell you, the standard rule is, it's a third for the land, and a third for the build, and a third is your profit. Now, if you're spending nine million on land, you should be able to build for nine million. Even double that, build for 18 million. Unbelievably, the numbers they are quoting, to me, uh, and like I say, speaking as, yes, as an expert on this, it's expert knowledge. That, to me, strikes me as fraud. Someone is stealing untold millions of pounds from this whole project. The latest costs were revealed following a Freedom of Information request to the Scottish Government. Completion of the project to dual the stretch between Perth and Inverness had been delayed by 10 years until 20. 35. And if you think it's going to be built by 2035, think again. Alex Neil, the former SNP minister who was responsible for committing to the works, warned it could now go one billion over budget. A billion over budget. Somebody is stealing it. There is no way. He previously told the MSPs that a realistic and fully costed 2025 target for the completion was set out by officials from the government agency Transport Scotland in May 2012 on his instruction. And within a decade, officials were saying the date was not attainable. That's because government are getting involved 
and have been left to a private company to do it, where they get their profit quicker upon completion, you guarantee it would have been completed 10 years ago. They'd have whizzed that up there. They'd gone boom, 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 as they were doing it. This wouldn't have been an issue. The project has repeatedly been delayed. <laughs> Tell me about it. Uh, despite campaigners warning that lives are being lost every year while deadlines are extended. Laura Hansler from the A9 Dual Action Group said it beggars belief that so much has been spent on planning while so little work has been done. It, it, it doesn't beg a belief if you put the word crime somewhere in the middle of it. It's the only way. It, it's, it's, it's impossible for it to cost that much in planning without someone majorly dipping their fingers into the pot. She said it seems ludicrous that so much money has already been spent on design and planning without a single shovel being in the ground. And it's a bit rich for them to go on about getting value for money when such vast amounts are already being spent in this way. Bearing in mind they've only delivered 11 miles in the past 16 years. How they think they're going to deliver another 44 in the next five, let alone the whole project by 2035, is completely beyond me. Not the way they're doing it. They... It needs a new government and it needs a new contract. Everything now, abandon. Just go and build it. Just build it, plough it in, get a company in and do it. And get it done to a time frame. Never mind cost, time frame. The cost is gone. You've already wanked away billions on this. You may as well work to complete. But it is an absolute... <sighs> It's a, it's a fiasco. I can't think of another word, really. It's a fiasco. Earlier this year, members of the Civil Engineering Contractor Association accused the government of deliberately setting a glacial pace because of lack of funding. They claimed the civil engineering sector in Scotland has known for many years that the promise to duel the A9 by 2025 would not be met. The group also blamed a dated bespoke contract which places all financial risk on the contractor for issues such as weather and ground conditions. Yeah, it's called all risk. Um, that's perfectly natural. Um, we used to use all risk contracts as well. However, you pay a premium for an all risk contact, uh, contract and it's usually 15%. So you build their, their, their profit in, but you have to add a 15% for all profit, uh, sorry, for, for an all risk uh, contract. And that again is standard. But if um, if, you, if that's costs that are being passed on, then you don't really mind it. But if it's your own cost, obviously you, you do it as cheap as you can. Uh, Scottish Conservative Transport Spokesman Graham Simpson said the SNP Green Government mismanagement of infrastructure seemingly knows no end. It's, it is stunningly bad. Um, but again, it's, it's people who don't know what they're doing making ill-informed and ignorant decisions. Uh, and they've got a mixture of a lack of knowledge a lack of intelligence and a lack of any kind of experience of dealing with real world issues such as construction. Construction's hard. Don't let anyone tell you it's not. But it's only hard until you start it. Because first of all, the hard bit is getting the land, doing the design. Once you've got the land and the design and you've got the funds in place, what you do is you step back. You put the contractors on site and you say, off you go. And as long as they build to the design, all is good. Of course, you have uh, occasional meetings to make sure that uh, you're meeting targets, build targets and things like that. You have, and this is the thing that the governments never do. They never build in failure metrics. If you don't meet this by this date, we consider that a fail and you lose your bonus at that point. And that's how you do it. And you phase your bonuses. And they have to meet certain things by certain points or the bonuses for that point is lost. Fail metrics. And put them in. But they don't like doing that. But hey, what do you do? Uh, anyway, not only have they underfunded this key project, he said they've been shockingly inefficient with the funding that they have actually put forward. The SNP transport chief, um, the Saturday girl, Mary McCallum, told MSPs that the cost of the project is now expected to take to take it to three billion, making it one of the most expensive in the history of the Scottish Parliament. Could have done the job for them for a billion. And it had been completed by now. And I'm not kidding. I'm not just saying that. I'm not just saying that. 35 years I worked in construction as an accountant, as an operations manager. We knew everything. 
We knew down to the last nut and bolt how much things cost. And we knew the time frames. And we had the men and the manpower and the plant and the machinery. And we knew when we could work fast and when we could work slow. It's ridiculous that these people are doing this. Uh, anyway, the only other finish to be fi uh, section to be finished today is the Lankarty to Pass of Burnham project, which cost nearly 100 million and involves six miles of dual carriageway. Construction started in 2019 and it opened to traffic in 2021. In the meantime, lives have continued to be lost and they will continue to be lost in the future. Uh, 65,000 people travel it every day. Um, and it is just, I mean, it's beyond a joke. It's, it's beyond a joke. And the cost at three billion pounds, it's just, it's just unfeasibly expensive. And the only reason it can be that expensive is thievery, is fraud. It's people graspingly taking money that isn't theirs. It's the only explanation. It needs a full, transparent investigation by the police, but not Police Scotland, an outside force, so that they aren't accountable to the, uh, the Scottish government. Anyway, I shall stop there and come up because it's just depressingly bad, isn't it? Anyway, coming up. Speaking of experience, I much prefer the A82 to the A9, but occasionally we'll do the A9, but um, you do tend to get one or two very nice distilleries on the way. But if I'm driving up at night, if I'm going to Inverness and it's dark, I'll take the A9 because there's not a lot to see. But if it's during the daytime, always the A82. Much, much prettier. A bit longer, a bit more out of the way, takes a bit longer. But um, it's a much nicer road to drive. The A9 is a bit uh, bland and boring. Um, unless you go say the Dalwini or something. Was that King Gussie? Just before King Gussie, uh, which is nice. Anyway, I shall stop there. Thank you very much for watching. Do please subscribe. Do please hit the subscribe button, the ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video. Uh, and do take care on the A9. And uh, if you're waiting for it to finish and never be built, well, I think there's children who are yet unborn who will never see this project finished. Till next time, stay safe, stay well. Take great care on the A9 and goodbye.